Hey guys, Dr. Zach here, Chief Entomologist here at Thanksgiving Point. Today we're talking about everybody's favorite bug, the cockroach. Wait, 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 I know, I know, you're like, click, next video, super gross, cockroaches, no way. Give me like 30 seconds, I promise. I think I can win you over on the cockroaches. So here's the thing, there's like 5,000 species of roaches on the planet, right? And four of them, four of them are the global pests that people find in their houses all over the place. There's a few other ones that get inside, like, you know, occasionally, but really it's four out of 5,000. That's 99.9% .9 of cockroach species that have no desire to be in your house. They are not pests whatsoever. And like, let's face it, if you got 5,000 people into a room, I swear four of them would be jerks. So the vast majority of cockroaches have no desire to be in your house. They're usually really well camouflaged and they're out living inside the leaf litter inside of forests, helping recycle the nutrients and playing a critical role in the ecosystems. And again, they don't wanna be under your sink any more than you wanna be under your sink. So this type of roach is called a dubia roach and Although this is not the kind that you would ever find in your house, it looks kind of like the ones you would find in your house. So people see these ones and think, yeah, yeah, that's pretty gross. Now, people think of cockroaches as being super dirty. They're not actually that dirty. In fact, they spend all day long cleaning themselves. And if you get a roach and you leave it on your hand, I know, bear with me, and just watch it, pretty soon it's gonna start running the antennae through its mouth parts. It's gonna fold its wings over and clean itself off. They spend all day long just grooming themselves and cleaning themselves. And they're actually remarkably clean animals. So dubia roaches live down in the steamy tropical forests of Central and South America, and you never really find them. They look like leaves, and they just leave down, live down in the leaf litter. In fact, basically the only time I've seen roaches like this are when army ants are coming through, and they want to eat things like this. Suddenly, you can actually hear it, it sounds like rain. The cockroaches come screaming out of the forest, running along the fort, blowing their camouflage to escape the, the raiding army ants, and you never realize how many hundreds of cockroaches are all around you at all times out in the forest. Let's move on to another Central American favorite. Wow, these are giant cave cockroaches. Whew, yeah, I can, melt, I can tell that I've made them a little bit mad because they are smelly. So these are amazing big roaches. These are not the kind that you would ever find inside of your house. These live deep in the forest in the leaf litter and look at that, look at their wings. They look just like leaves. They have phenomenal camouflage. So these are massive, massive roaches. And one of the best things about these insects that we can see is that right there, that's a juvenile and that's an adult. So insects only have wings as adults. So like with a butterfly, the caterpillars obviously don't have wings and we know that. Those go through complete metamorphosis and the larva looks completely different from the adults. But with something like this, the uh, insects that go through incomplete metamorphosis, the juveniles look basically like an adult, but they don't have wings. They're just smaller. And then once you see one that has wings, you know that's an adult. Now, not all insects and not all cockroaches have wings, even as an adult, but if you see wings, you know that it's an adult. Okay, let's move on to another really cool species of roach. These guys are so awesome. These are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. These are really cool roaches from, uh, from Madagascar. Now, these are really unique roaches in that the way that a lot of roaches defend themselves is by having terrible smells inside of their body that they'll squirt out and you can smell cockroach. Like if somebody smells and steps on a cockroach, you can tell it's a cockroach. Sometimes you can tell what species of cockroach it is by the smell that it makes. These guys are a little bit different in the way that they defend themselves, the way that they communicate is by hissing air out of their body. They actually suck air into their abdomen and they go and they hiss it out like that. It's pretty loud. So check this out. Here's how you can tell apart a male from a female Madagascar hissing cockroach. This is a girl and she's got a smooth little neck here, right here, that's called their pronotum. And then their abdomen is really, really big. If you're looking at this one right here, it's got horns. He's got like a, uh, the, uh, the horns on his pronotum and he's a lot smaller because he doesn't have to have room inside of his abdomen for all of those eggs. If you've hung in this long and I appreciate it, I'm going to reward you with something adorable. I know I told you there are cute cockroaches out there. There actually are. Check these out. This is the domino cockroach. These guys live in Southern India in kind of scrubby habitats. And look at that, huh? It's sad but true, but you put polka dots on any kind of bug and suddenly we like it. If this guy was jet black, we'd probably hate it just as much as the other cockroaches. But look at those little polka dots. Now you might be thinking, what business does a cockroach like this have being so pretty, right? Don't cockroaches just want to hide all day so things don't eat them? And that is true. But this is a really interesting cockroach in that it mimics a type of ground beetle that can spray nasty chemicals that lives in its, in its habitat. So even though it stands out, it is defended, but only because it is a poser pretending to be a nasty beetle. 
Another really funny thing about roaches that a lot of people don't realize is that even though we hate cockroaches, we tend to like some of their very close relatives, like praying mantises. Believe it or not, the praying mantis is a very close relative of the cockroach. But that's about all we have for the cockroaches today. If you like the video, please do me a favor, like the video. And you know what? Let's win over some of our friends that don't like cockroaches together. Take the video, share it with somebody who doesn't like cockroaches. Let's see if we can win them over. Because cockroaches, they're pretty awesome. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. We'll get to them when we get to them. Subscribe to the video if you want to, so you can see more cool videos like this in the future. And if you really want to see some of these cockroaches up close, come down here to the Butterfly Biosphere. I'll show them to you. Thanks.